Hi, I'm Mikoto Fei from Spectral Audio. And today I'm here to introduce a new Spectral Audio hardware product. The engine. After releasing my first hardware product, Acigen Hardware Edition, back in 2019, I decided I wanted to start working on another hardware tool to take all these new ideas that I had related to generative and algorithmic composition and performance even further. So I started working on a new project. My main goal for this new product was to create a portable multi-track MIDI sequencer capable of running not only the original Acigen, but also many other types of generators. I also wanted it to have an easy to use interface to let users control these different generators to create and perform new music ideas. So instead of having to create or record sequences from scratch, you'd basically combine these generators to play multiple MIDI instruments at the same time. In other words, you'd be almost like a conductor of a jam band. So after working on multiple hardware prototypes, algorithms and firmware revisions over the past three years, I'm happy to announce that the Spectro Audio engine is finally available. So what is Engine and what can it do exactly? In short, Engine is a 16-track MIDI sequencer designed and built in Sao Paulo, Brazil that features 12 different generators, 10 MIDI effects, MIDI via USB or 3.5mm jacks, two CV plus gate outputs, micro SD storage, and much more. Each generator uses a unique algorithm to generate and manipulate different kinds of sequences. They also all include a special animation to give you some visual feedback of what's going on with them. You can use Engine to sequence multiple tracks in your DAW, hardware MIDI or CV instruments, or even multiple timbres of a multi-timbral instrument. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of some of Engine's features. If you'd like a more in-depth look into the different features, check out the Engine playlist linked in the description. In this demo, I use the Engine connected to the computer via USB and Ableton Live. When you first boot up Engine, it automatically loads the Acigen generator into the first track. Acigen is a great algorithm for generating bass lines and melodies. The four knobs let me control the main parameters of the generator that I have loaded into a track. In this case, I can control Acigen's shift, length, density, and algorithm parameters. I can also hold down function to access four additional parameters or use the menu encoder to adjust all settings available for this generator. Most of the generators available in Engine are designed around the idea of being able to generate entirely new sequences with a push of a button. So whenever I want to generate a new sequence for this track, I can press the generate button. Alright, so let's take things a bit further and add some drums to the mix. I'll select track number two, go to track settings, activate the track, and select the drum gen generator. I'll also set my drum track in my DAW to listen to the MIDI channel number two. Drum gen, as the name suggests, is designed to generate four part drum patterns based on probability maps inspired by different genres. In drum gen, the four knobs control the probability of each of the four parts. I can also change the length of each part by holding down function to get some polyrhythmic action. Like Acigen, I can press generate to generate a new sequence. Or press function plus generate to select a different template. 
cool thing about these templates is that they offer some guidelines for what the patterns should sound like, but they still allow for an infinite number of variations within those guidelines. Each of the 16 tracks in Engine can run one generator and one MIDI effects. So let's try using some of those MIDI effects. I'll go back to track 2 settings and select the glitch effect, which works really well on drums. I can access the different parameters available for this MIDI effects by navigating to the MIDI effects submenu. This icon at the top of the screen indicates that, while in this menu, the four knobs and the generate button will control the parameters available in this submenu. When I return to the main screen, the icon disappears and I'm back to controlling drum gen. Now that I'm happy with these sequences, I can save all my settings and sequences as a project. Projects are stored as simple hex files inside the micro SD card, so I can always back them up or share them with other engine users. Each project contains the data for which generators and media effects I'm using, their sequences, parameters, as well as global parameters such as key, scale, clock parameters, and more. While you can think of each project as a song, you may also want to have multiple sections for each of these songs, and this is where patterns come in. Each project can hold up to eight different patterns, and each pattern can store all the information related to the 16 tracks, including generator and media effects assignments, parameters, sequences, and routings, meaning you can completely change the track's behavior from pattern to pattern. I can switch to a different pattern by pressing the pattern button, selecting a different one, and clicking on the menu encoder or save the current settings to a pattern by holding down function and pressing the menu encoder. Now let me load a different project that contains acid gen on track 1, drum gen on track 2, and polyform, our real-time polyphonic generator, on track 3. Polyform is a generator that creates polyphonic responses to incoming monophonic sequences in real time. In this project, I've routed the AUX output of tracks 1 acidgen into track 3, so Polyform will react to whatever acidgen is playing on track 1. The generators available in Engine follow the global key and scale settings. Because these parameters can be adjusted in real time, I can quickly test the same musical ideas on different keys and scales.
Before we move on, let me quickly show you some of the other generators available in Engine. Acigen is a flexible baseline and melody generator that features eight different algorithms. The ARPER lets you generate arpeggios algorithmically and manipulate them in real time. DrumGen uses probability maps based on different genres to generate four-part drum patterns. The input sequencer is a step-based sequencer that lets you record incoming notes and play them back in a variety of ways. MARP is a unique and experimental polyrhythmic arpeggiator. MIDI player can play back MIDI files stored in the microSD card. It's a great tool for when you need to play back specific melodies during a live set. Polyform is a MIDI processor that generates polyphonic responses based on incoming monophonic sequences.
Pop generates score progressions with a push of a button. Samba is designed to generate four-part percussive patterns inspired by classic Euclidean sequencers. Shuffler is designed to sequence slice loops using a sampler. You can get some amazing results by sending it to sequence mode and pressing generate to play the slices in a different order. Turing is a generator inspired by Music Things Turing Machine, and it uses a lockable 16 bit shift register to generate sequences. Finally, the True Generator can play back and modify incoming sequences coming from other generators and tracks. Engine also includes many other features, such as different clock generators, per track auto variation, assignable CV outputs, a performance mode, a built in MIDI monitor, and much more. If you'd like to know more about all the different generators, MIDI effects, and features, check out the Engine playlist linked in the video description. Alright, so let me quickly talk about availability in our roadmap. Now that both hardware and firmware are nearly finished, our goal is to open pre-orders for a very limited batch of units. These units will be sold directly to customers, and we will do our best to ship them anywhere in the world. As some of you may already heard, the availability of certain components around the world is not so great at the moment, especially here in Brazil. So our plan for now is to manufacture some batches here, by hand, until we can get our hands on enough parts to get some units manufactured at a larger scale. Going forward, our goal is to continue to work on engines, features and workflow via firmware upgrades and also to port all of these different generators and effects that we've created for engine back to the computer as VST and audio unit plugins. We'll also continue to offer and support Acigen Hardware Edition as a great and straightforward tool for using algorithmic sequences in your setup. 
Alright, now let's jump to some demos so you can see what's possible to do with Engine.
So, I hope you have enjoyed this first look at Engine. After working on this project by myself for the past three years, I can't wait to see what you will create with Engine. For more information about Engine, visit spectraaudio.com engine. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>